Last time we saw Ryan Phillippe on the big screen, he was part of an impressive ensemble cast in last year's Oscar-winning Best Picture, Crash. Now Phillippe leads another strong ensemble in director Clint Eastwood's World War II drama, Flags of Our Fathers. And Ryan Phillippe is with us this morning. Good morning. Good morning, Harry. First things first, uh, well, last time we saw you was Oscar night, and you and the entire cast were going into the governor's ball, and your wife, and just, uh, what a night. It's so surreal. So sur I mean, I have very little recollection of that night because of how overwhelmed I was yeah. in a sensory, you know, uh, sort of manner. It was really, and I still I think about it now, it's almost dreamlike. Reese gets one, you get one for the, the your picture gets one for best picture? Stunning. Yeah. Yeah. It's, and I hear you say it, and like as you introduce me, and it still it doesn't even seem like it's me. But yeah. I guess that's sort of the way I sort of perceive myself in a sense. Yeah. Too. A little, a little third person. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, this is a very, very personal role because uh, people are familiar uh, with Joe Rosen Rosenthal's picture. Joe just died not so many, many months ago of the uh, Marines on top of Mount Suribachi at, uh, at Iwo Jima. Mm -hmm. As it turns out, you have a, a lot of family connection in terms of the military, right? I do, I do. And, you know, it's funny, something that comes up again and again, people ask me what our heroes, because of the nature of this film and the themes within it. And uh, I'm also working on a film right now about a soldier back from Iraq. Uh, the men and women who make that sacrifice and, and uh, you know, are willing to give up their lives in, in, in a lot of cases are yeah. heroes to me. Yeah. And so to tell their stories, and uh, as you mentioned, my, my, both of my grandfathers fought in World War II, one in the Pacific and one in, in Germany. And uh, this was a dream for me, to be able to do a film with that sort of content, with these people, Spielberg and Haggis and Eastwood, and yeah. to tell a story about those men. I mean, my grandfather was my hero. He won a Bronze Star in Germany and would tell me uh, stories, you know, periodically, usually about mechanical things, tanks right. and guns, right. not about death and his friends dying next to him. Because so many of the guys in my own experience from covering these different reunions and my own father-in-law who was at Iwo Jima, they never, almost never talked about the actual action per se. Right, and I feel like with good reason. If, how, why would you engage in a conversation that is so painful with someone who could never understand it? And mm. I think that's a point that the movie makes on yeah. some level. And you see... In my, in my case, particularly with Doc Bradley, the corpsman saw the, the loss of life and his best friend dying next to him. Mm -hmm. And, I, you know, I think with other vets and men who had experienced the same thing, they'd be more open and, and they would have those conversations. Yeah. But with someone who doesn't understand and can never know, yeah. it seems like a waste. This story is uh, taken, it's, it's really about the, these guys who raise the flag, three of whom die, and th then three are brought back home to help raise money for the bond drive because people weren't giving money to the government anymore. And I want to show a clip Absolutely. real quickly because the guys who came home to do this were somewhat reluctant. Let's mm -hmm. take a look. Who are these gold star mothers? That's what we're calling the mothers of the dead flag raisers. You present each mother with a flag. They say a few words. People will shit money. It'll be so moving. But this is Hank Hansen's mom. Lovely woman. She knows how close you and her son were. He wrote home about you. She is very, very much looking forward to meeting you. Hank wasn't in the picture. Sorry? Hank didn't raise that flag. He raised the other one, the real flag. The what? The real, the real flag? There's a real flag? Yeah, ours was the replacement flag. We put it up and they took the other one down. <clears throat> Because as the story goes, a flag went up, and uh, a commander said, I want a bigger flag put up, and it was a different group of guys, who, right? Right, which is something that no one ever knew, and there yeah. were questions about the, 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 the circumstances under which the photograph was taken. Was it staged? Was right. it not staged? Everything else. Golly, golly. But the impact it had was phenomenal. They raised $25 billion in 1945 to win the war, essentially. Yeah, because at that point, the bond drives were, were, were dried up. People were not giving money. This picture appeared in papers around the country and all of a sudden people in America said we can win this war. right right it galvanized the nation and uh, we were out of ammo out of equipment out of uh, uniforms and uh, this bond drive paid for everything yeah. working with Eastwood what was it like a dream 
just a dream. And you hear the stories and the mythology, and it's all true. The guy <laughs> is incredible. He is. And to do what he's doing at his age, the Japanese perspective, uh, the film that's coming out that tells the Japanese perspective, yeah. is just as incredible as our film. And, and uh, he's an amazing man. He yeah. tr Look at him. Look, 76 years old. He'd be out there. He climbed Surabachi, the place we shot Surabachi. They had a helicopter that could have taken him up. Yeah. The man's out there with two bags over his shoulder at 6 in the morning climbing this mountain. Wow. He's something else, man. There you go. It's an amazing film. Amazing Thank film. Thank, Thank you, you very, very Appreciate much for being in here this Absolutely. morning. Absolutely. Do appreciate it.